the long bay artificial reef association dedicated to creating productive marine habitat for the benefit of the north carolina fishery since nineteen eighty four this hard working group of volunteers have successfully deployed and maintained a total of seven artificial reefs in the long bay area in so doing the association has created world class fishing opportunities in close where they never existed before the, the work that the Long Bay Artificial Reef Association has done bringing these seven artificial reefs to the Brunswick County coast is invaluable. Without them, sure, there still would be fishing there. It would be concentrated in different areas. Some of them uh, right over on frying pan shoals. That is where the natural structure is in that area. And it's some water that is can be awful dangerous at times for the inexperienced boaters. So by putting the habitats around in Long Bay and building the food chains that are there, these fish have been brought into other areas and are available to the, the average boater. With, without the artificial reef sites, we have a very barren bottom here. Long Bay is, is not famous for its ledges and, and hard structure like some of the other parts of North Carolina. So the artificial reef site bring fish in, bring the people here, and, and also, like I said a while ago, we try to keep them accessible to the small boater. The Long Bay Artificial Reef Association establishes and maintains artificial reef areas that support marine life needed to improve the fisheries. But the association has never been interested in just throwing junk in the ocean. They've always done things right. This has led them to a new type of reef material called reef balls. Reef balls have unique features that allow them to adapt to any natural reef system. Okay, recently the Long Bay Office Reef Association has become very interested in the use of reef balls. This is a prefabricated, specifically designed for artificial reef development. Materials uh, are accepted pretty much world, they're used worldwide. And the Long Bay Office Reef Association has thus far gotten a lot of success catches of flounder and other fish on sites where reef balls have been placed. Reef balls work by making a natural reef. They're basically a seed in which a real reef will grow around. Uh, when you put a reef ball down, they're made with special surface textures and uh, patterns to create whirlpools so that we can feed corals. But basically, you get live corals to grow on top of them and other types of animals that live on the reef. And it will continue to grow out just like a tree will grow from a, a potted plant. And that's uh, what happens is you get big forest underwater, if you will, which brings in fish and all the other life that live under the sea. The concrete itself is designed to last a minimum of 500 years. That's engineering strength, how long it holds its initial, initial uh, strength. Obviously, it's going to last longer than that because the corals are going to continue to grow around it. So, in essence, reef balls are permanent. Reef balls are designed with 80% of the weight in the bottom foot of the unit and also a hole at the top that breaks up the lifting forces of the storm. So when a storm hits a reef ball, the water goes in the holes on the outside and squirt up the middle, making the ball even heavier. Reef balls are the most stable artificial reef available, and in fact, with over 250,000 reef balls down, we've never had one move, even in direct hits of hurricanes. We also uh, help the environment by taking the scrap concrete pipe from uh, the concrete manufacturers in North Carolina that they would have to otherwise landfill. We, we pay the transportation costs to the state port in Wilmington, and the fisheries take it out for us. Uh, one of the biggest donators being North Carolina products out of Raleigh, uh, which has just donated 1,800 pieces of concrete pipe in various sizes, which adds up to 3,000 tons of concrete or 4,000 cubic yards. And uh, this is going to be some on all our reef sites in the next few months. But uh, we, we're proud of the fact that that's 1,800, that's 4,000 cubic yards of concrete that got to go in the landfill. And uh, we, help, we help other uh, companies do the same thing. So we're always looking for ways to help the environment. Uh, we don't want to put anything in the water that's going to pollute it. We never have and we never will. Whether it's concrete pipe or reef balls, the placement of these materials is an exacting science. Never has a site been arbitrarily chosen or materials haphazardly deployed. The Long Bay Artificial Reef Association works in conjunction with the North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries using the latest technologies in planning where and how to deploy these reef materials. All seven of the artificial reef sites are constantly monitored and surveyed. 
the, the placement of material is specific. You can't go ahead and just clog up one area and have a, a field of solid material because you can, in a sense, make the inner parts of that barren. In, in natural environments, the edge effect comes into play. And the more edge you can get between barren bottom and reef material, the higher the productivity, the more diversity of species. So you, you try to create as much edge effect as possible. That's why often on a reef we have material here, there, and there, and there. And it may be difficult for you to find it, but it's a more productive reef um, simulation. One of the newest additions to the North Carolina Division of Marine Fisheries Artificial Reef Program is through the purchase of a side scan sonar unit, we can now do our own work to map artificial reef sites. This unit has fantastic capabilities. Uh, what it basically does, it shoots a beam out on either side of it as it is towed behind a boat. So what it produces is an image similar to this. You've got your main track of the fish. It, cr it picks up the ship or whatever object there is, creates a shadow behind it. That explains the black. And also we can pick up things as small as tires that we have. We could even tell the difference between an automobile tire and a truck tire based on the size. The beauty with this side scan system is that it's digital. That means that while we're out in the field, we could just concentrate on doing the work for the collecting of the information, but then we can come back in the office and add our best time, and plus in a very uh, safe format for saving, we can go ahead and come in and review the files. For instance, right here off of uh, Reef 420, about three miles from the Cape Fear Sea Buoy, there's some bridge span material. And it's interesting how bridge span material will show up. Follow the cursor, you've got girders here, but it also casts a shadow. And the shadow is a neat thing because you can actually measure the height by using the shadow of material off the bottom. We could even, for instance, very quickly go ahead and measure the length of material. And we can see here that's about 99 feet of length. We could also go ahead and calculate area affected by our material being down. And we can just go ahead and cursory around it. And we come up with a calculated area of over 3,600 square feet. And that's one of the beauties of this item here. It's allowing us to go ahead and do surveys on site as they're being done, for instance, with the Long Bay Outer Fishery Reef Association. We've got a lot of pipe to go out. We've got reef balls that are out. We're able to monitor reef balls. And it's all an interaction between Long Bay Outer Fishery Reef Association, the division, our crew, and the side scan sonar. Oh, right here, right, right off the bow of the boat. There he is. There you go, George. All right. Woo! This is fun! <laughs> the fact is, is that all seven of the Long Bay artificial reef sites work and work well. Each site is considered a fisherman's paradise. So much so that Long Bay and Brunswick County have earned the reputation as one of the best sport and live bait fishing locations in North Carolina. They really work. They really do. They do an extremely good job. Very fantastic job. I've been out on my boat uh, on several occasions when I knew that they was dumping on the dump site, where it may be the Yopon Reef or the McGlamour Reef or wherever the case might be, and I've watched them drop these things. I'm sitting right there programming my GPS so I know right where I get to go back and fish at. Because I know if I get around, you get around structures, you're going to find fish. Now you get out on a sandy bottom where you don't have any structure, fish ain't going to hang out there. There's nothing for them to feed on. When I hear about the, the artificial reef sites and especially the ones that are going to be using reef balls, the concrete pipe and stuff like that, I know that these are great sites. You can have flounder, you can have trout. We have spade fish, we have Spanish mackerel, we have blue fish, we have king mackerel. Just an entire food chain that, that starts with little bitty minnows and works its way all the way up to the top predator. If you would like to join in on all the fishing fun, go to the association's website at www.lbara.com. There you'll find things such as reef maps that will show you exactly how to get to all the fishing hotspots. The Long Bay Artificial Reef Association is well known for its accomplishments. Their actions have generated a tourist trade that did not exist before. Tourism is the area's leading industry and vital to its economy. 
Well, it's economic boost. We're primarily a tourism industry in Brunswick County. That is far number one. Uh, the reefs, uh, we think, bring in more fishermen to our beaches. When they go to the beach, they, they shop at the tackle shops, they stay in the motels, they buy the groceries. So we think it's a big economic boost. The artificial reef helps keep our economy strong, and a strong economy brings the services and businesses that our citizens need. This drugstore wouldn't be here if there weren't enough people living here and making enough money to keep it in business. The Artificial Reef Association helps keep the features of our community that are important to bring the people here. And one thing about the, the Reef Association, you know, sometimes we give money to worthy organizations and it's a one-time shot that is good for that year. But when you plant a reef, it's there. And 100 years from now, we'll be reaping the benefits of those reefs. So this is not something that goes away in one year, and it's not something that one year's funding and it's gone. This is something that continues to pay off. For almost 20 years, the Long Bay Artificial Reef Association has been dedicated to improving not only the quality of fishing off the coast of Brunswick County, but improving the quality of life for all of its citizens. But even with all their success in creating and maintaining seven artificial reef sites, so much more is left to be done. On our seven reef sites, on the permitted area, we don't have it a 12% coverage. And until we cover 100% of all those seven reef sites, uh, the Corps engineers are not going to even think about giving us another reef permit. And that's true, that's going to be true up and down the coast. Uh, they're not keen on making any more reef sites, but it's going to tell you, it took us 14 years to cover 12%, so it's going to take a lot of years to cover 100% of all total seven reef sites. And this is where you can get involved money is needed to purchase the materials required for total coverage of the existing seven artificial reef sites. Additional reef sites will not be allowed until this is done. Contact Dale McDowell to find out how you can contribute to the Long Bay Artificial Reef Association. You can play a vital role in the improvement and expansion of the reef system in Long Bay. Won't you please help? As long as we catch the dish and we got this Long Bay Artificial Reef program going. We got our motels full, we got our restaurants full, we got people buying a tackle out of our tackle stores. I mean, the burning gas running up and down the highway. I mean, we, this is stuff that we have to have to keep the world going. We've got to have it.